Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement and uh, today in this video we will be learning how to create uh, a different uh, very good charts related to the actual versus budget data. So in this scenario uh, we have got the data region wise with their respective actual numbers and the budgeted numbers and we have created one column which is called variance. So definitely actual minus budget we get our variance either in a positive or negative. So I will tell you three different ways to create the actual versus budget chart and do the visualization accordingly. There are so many ways to create the charts in Excel uh, specifically to the actual versus budget data. But I will tell you the fundamentals and three different ideas and you can adopt any one if you like and you can place in on your dashboards or the reports or any other way in Microsoft Excel. So let's get start. Uh, the first idea is very basic and then we'll, we will be moving towards to the next two ideas. So the first idea is that uh, we will be selecting the region column, actual column and the budget column and we will go to insert tab to create a chart and uh, primarily we are creating the 2D column chart. So when I click on the column chart, I get my uh, visualized chart. And you can see that there are five regions. The actuals are, have been shown in the blue blue bars and the budgeted are the red bars. So uh, by seeing this chart, I can analyze that in the region where the actual is highest is more as compared to the budget. So this means that we have uh, a good kind of sales as compared to our targets and on those regions uh, where the budget is high as you can see in the South America uh, the budget uh, portion is very higher as compared to the actual this means that our target has not been met so in this way uh, I am just comparing two different uh, bars related to the actual and budget and I am uh, interpreting the results that whichever is a higher I will compare this it either the actual has been met or not right so this is the very basic idea one of the idea the next idea is again I will select the region actual and budget data I will go to insert tab and I will again uh, create one column chart and now in this column chart I will do some techniques related to the formatting so what I will do is I will just overlap the budget bars to the actual bars and I will make the budget bars transparent and I will make these budgeted bars uh, borders thick so that uh, it will give you a different kind of visualization and impact so let's get started with this second idea I will just right click on this uh, red bars that pertains to the budget then I will get the contextual menu and in this contextual menu we have the last option that is called format data series when I click on this I will have the format data series menu here right so you can see this there is an a, a icon just like a bucket you will click on this icon and you will expand the fill option and here in in the fill option you will select no fill so that it gets transparent and in you will expand the border portion and here you will select the solid line and you will select let's suppose we select the black color and also increase the width of this lines to 2.5 or 3 points till 3 points right now the next and the last part is to overlap these budget bars to the actuals so again right click on the same budgeted bars format data series and you will find a series overlap option here which is by default in my case is minus 27 what you need to do is do it at 100 percent so when you go for series overlap 100 percent uh, the budgeted series will come in front of the actual series and now this representation is a, a kind of a different representation uh, as you can see that in the United Kingdom and North America my actuals are going uh, over the borders of this budgeted 
uh, bars or the borders so this means we have met the actual more than the budget but in those regions where the uh, where there there are some gaps you can see that white portion in north america and uh, in, in south america and asia pacific there are white portions remaining in these borders this means that we have not met the budget fully right so very quickly we have a different idea with the visualization as well the third idea is uh, that uh, we will now we will select the region column and uh, pressing the control key i will select this non adjacent column that is the variance so i selected two columns region and the variance and i will go to insert tab and again i will draw the column chart now you can see that uh, first of all your uh, horizontal axis is coming definitely in the center of this chart uh, whereas we need to make sure that this horizontal axis comes down the chart so that it should not disturb our visualization so first thing is to move it to the downwards so first step will be i will right click on my horizontal axis and here you can see this contextual menu uh, here in the last option that is called format axis you will click on format axis and uh, we will expand the labels area and here you have the label position feature so instead of next to axis we will select uh, the low in the labels position so definitely your horizontal axis will move down to the lower side of the chart now the variance which is positive it's going upwards with the blue color and the variance which is negative is going downwards because it's negative below the zero so what we need to do is handling the colors we need a green color with the positive variance and red with the negative variance so for doing that what we will do right click on the blue bars you will get the contextual menu and here you will select format data series again click on this bucket icon okay and in the fill area you have to select first solid fill then also check mark the option which is called invert if negative so you will get two buckets color buckets in the first color bucket you have to select the green color for the positive numbers and in the second bucket you need to select the red color which is for the negative variances and now you can see that we have we are analyzing those regions who have met the budget exceeded the budget actual numbers are higher than the budgets have the positive variance and only two regions have not met the budget so this means the actual is lower side as compared to the budgets so the variance is negative here so there were three ideas which i covered in this video the data is same the data is related to the actual and budget but we have analyzed this data into three different aspects right so this is how uh, you draw the attention of the audience and you make your visualizations attractive uh, with different with with a different angle so in my next videos related to the charts i will tell you more awesome techniques i hope you like like this video uh, do like and share this video or comment if you have any questions thank you